You're deaf? Oh, oh should I sign? Yes. Okay. Huh, it's not just a signature, it's uh -huh. donation. Donation? Yes. I give you any coins if you have Yeah, I have no zero. We are in beautiful, well, I guess you know where we are. And when there's beautiful sights, there's usually also a lot of tourists. And when there's a lot of tourists somewhere, there's also usually some scammers. So let me introduce you to some of them. We're under uh, Sacre Quai, which obviously attracts millions of tourists. Uh, and if you want to go up, there's different uh, pathways, different roads, and they all lead to the same thing, but they also lead to different scammers that will try to trick you and somehow get your money. So let's expose them. I would say the following is not a scam, but it's something that is forced upon you, and I'm not a big fan of that. If somebody is selling something, you may buy it or not, but if you're being pushed physically, that ain't good, and this is the case. The guys behind me, you can see that they're forcing people to tie them a wristband on their hand. And they're very, I would say, almost extremely pushy. And not only towards guys, but also towards women. Now we were watching that for a while and eventually they came up to us. So Honza said, meh, wristband? Sure, why not? Yeah, be happy. I am happy. You are happy too? Strong people, my name is Happy Man. Oh, you're happy man? Strong <laughs> people always are happy, look at your finger. I'm from Guinea, okay? Best. Where are you from? Uh, Czech. Dobriden. Dobriden. Jan, Jan Koller, good football. Ha, Jan Koller, Jan nice Koller one. To participate. Petr Czech, Rus you know as well. Rusiski, Najbet, Baros, Pitacek. We call, we call <laughs> Czechoslovakia, and now Czechoslovak. We say Dobriden. Ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want no, one. Tradition. Thank you. Respect. It's a happiness. I am very happy. Oh, be happy. Everybody no. needs more. Be happy. Don't be like Chinese. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan Chinese of the are not happy? No, no, no. They're not too happy. <laughs> They're not too happy? Yeah, Czech is nice yeah. people. You see, this is happiness. You don't have to do sorry, sorry. So, sorry, man. <laughs> man, you don't have something? Nothing? Sorry. No. Ah, okay. okay. Thank but you. But you need to go to exchange office. Okay, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> now, uh, Honza got the wristband. We're marked. Obviously, the guy asked for money. And I did give him money. The money I got from the scammers we chase in Prague. So I guess I scammed a scammer. Oops. Also, if you don't give them money, they'll cut the wristband off. They'll get pushy, aggressive, and they'll cut it off. So that's why when you walk around, you'll see a lot of the wristbands just uh, lying uh, there on the ground. Nope, no more wristbands on the ground here because we're not in Paris anymore, we're in Prague. And believe it or not, we never had this scam in Prague. And you may be wondering, why did you suddenly move from Paris to Prague? Well, to uh, illustrate to you how Surfshark VPN can work for you and move you within split of a second around the world. <laughs> Surfshark VPN is a plug-in to your uh, browser or your phone, and you can easily move your device virtually to anywhere around the globe to easily access content that may otherwise be restricted to where you are. And this is not just streaming services, sometimes it's even apps, and we've experienced this with Honza in Paris. We were going to rent a bicycle, and it just didn't work unless we used a Surfshark VPN, and there's many other examples. Honza was in Canada, he couldn't access something in US. I was in UK and I couldn't access something that was in Czech Republic and so on. So if you face that kind of obstacle, just go to surfshark.com slash honest guide because now you will get a special Black Friday limited deal and on top of that, four months for free. That's why I dressed up in this really washed out black sweater. <laughs> this is like gray Friday. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring us and let me move you guys in the Surfshark speed back to Paris. The following trick scam you may know from our videos, it's the death mute petition scam where you uh, sign a petition and then they require a donation. We have filmed it in Prague, we have filmed it in Florence and most likely you have experienced it yourself. The money does not go to charity or to people who are deaf or mute, it simply goes to the pocket of the scammer. Now, uh, they are blocking the uh, pathways here, multiple women with uh, this piece of paper. And I have to say, I've, I've seen this trick way, way back when the paper used to be colorful, when uh, they would pretend to be deaf and mute to actually trick you or scam you. Nowadays, they really just don't give a shit. <laughs> they are very pushy towards the tourists, especially Americans. They surround them, they require more and more money. Once you give a certain amount, they want more and they will point to the paper showing, look, the person before you gave me 30 euros. Why do you only give me five euros? Give me 20. 
it's just the signature. It's not okay? just the signature, it's uh -huh. donation. Donation? Yes. Oh, everyone gave 20. Every people donate. How much one? Oh, I don't have anything. Coins? No, I don't have anything. I'm sorry. One euro? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. I thought I was just signing petitions. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah? You don't want money? I thought I thought you want money. You don't want donation? You offer them some money and they say no, I don't understand. What's the problem? Probably that I wrote a big scam on the whole page that might be the issue. I don't know. If you don't give them money, their face expression will change instantly from Please help me, I'm a nice woman to I don't care. There's millions of tourists, I'll just scam another one. But I didn't want to be the rude tourist who doesn't share some money for a petition for a charity, so I gave this woman money I got from a different scammer. Money that is worth absolutely nothing, or close to zero. <sighs> Association, poor sounds and mutes, dumb for hearing. You're deaf? Oh, should I sign? Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah, for the hearing. Yeah, I'm a Maruba, I think. Yeah, Maruba. Yeah? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> yeah, it's okay? Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the quality of the paper they're using to trick people is so lame. It's like a copy of a copy of a copy. It's like if you send a picture from your vacation through Facebook, WhatsApp, it eventually loses all the quality and comes down to one pixel. It only shows how lazy they are. Somebody came up with this trick scam years ago and they were actually, you know, trying to achieve something. Nowadays, they're just lazy bastards. This sounds weird, right? But I mean, I respect a good scam. I mean, there's a Czech con artist who sold the Eiffel Tower. Up until now, we were defending tourists here at Sakreke and trying to, I guess, help them in a way. But they're also sometimes trouble. And in this case, I would like to refer to the millions of locks that are hanging here on the fences. It just, I don't understand it. I don't understand why somebody would go somewhere to a place that is nice. That's why I'm going there. But let me improve it with hanging a lock and writing my name on it. If people would be spray painting on Sakreke, somebody would notice, right? But hanging a lock, that's okay. <laughs> now here's a business idea regarding love locks. The sellers sell them for five euros. They give the tourist marker, they write their name on it. But the locks are super easy to take off. You just push a button on this heart or the metal ones. You just put a little plastic piece in it and you can take it off and you can resell it. Just erase the marker and sell it again. The city would be clean, they would make more money. And the tourists would never find out. Sorry. To me, these little scams or tourist tricks are so old. Like, I can't believe they still do it. There's no invention whatsoever. But hey, it must still work. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. And since Paris is visited by millions every year, they are still, to a certain point, successful. You know, I would expect these guys to have like a convention every year. They meet and they exchange ideas and we'll come up with something new. Nope, uh, the deaf and mute scam still works. By the way, there was uh, Joe Biden behind me in the picture. Lucky us. We also filmed uh, the cups and balls scam here in Paris. Uh, more serious, way more serious scam from my point of view. Gathers more money to the scammer. And we were also told that these groups do the pickpocketing. We did not come across that, yet we saw how crowded certain areas may be. So I can imagine this is a paradise for pickpockets. If or when you come to Paris, you're going to also see tons of different uh, street vendors. Yes, they may be violating certain rules of Paris, but definitely not scamming anyone. I mean, they're selling you a little Eiffel Tower, you get the Eiffel Tower. They sell you water, you get water. If they sell you a bottle of wine and inside it's water, then it's a scam. But we did not come across that. By the way, when I bought my bottle uh, in a supermarket, a legit uh, supermarket, it was actually more expensive than from the street vendor who had it for one euro. So thanks to you guys. Louvre Museum is a place where there are millions of tourists all aiming for that one picture, so they're all similar. But you wouldn't come across scammers or different hustlers or sellers because they simply won't let them go uh, past the entrances uh, that they guard with the gates and some security guards.
but the, the sellers of the Eiffel Towers are just across the fence. Not consider them to be uh, any type of scam, they just sell stuff. Yes, they are violating different rules and laws of the city, but I mean, they're at least trying to make a living and they're helping someone. I, I don't see anything bad in that, to be honest. On the other hand, a woman pretending to collect money for charity for children and then it ends up in her pocket? Screw that. I'm not okay with that. We're the honest guides. Our base location is Prague. We're only visiting here in Paris. We behaved nice, I hope. We didn't leave any love logs behind. And I'll see you uh, next week on our channel here. Bye-bye. Uh, Back from Paris, a safe home in Prague. And to be honest, we did not expect these videos to blow up so much. They were seen by almost 10 million people, which is unbelievable. And to celebrate slash commemorate that, we have made uh, our own line of some cool hoodies and t-shirts to remember what we have experienced in Paris. But it wasn't honest, that's for Prague. Let me show you a different one. I mean, this is a moment I do not only want to remember, but wear it on my hoodie, come on. We have different versions of this specific shirt as well. Go check it out on honestguide.space. It's a limited drop for a couple days only. So be quick, we do ship worldwide and we'll be super happy if you buy, if you'll also take a picture and send it to us. I remember uh, from the last time we were selling our t-shirts, there were pictures coming from all around the world and it was awesome to see them. Link is below in the description. So go check out all the models we have prepared for you and thank you so much for your support.